Jessica, I spoke with former FBI agent Stuart Kaplan, as well as his fellow defense attorney, Richard Serafini, who has also worked under multiple attorney generals with the Department of Justice. What I thought was, was most interesting from my perspective was uh, the three statutes that were implicated. Um, none of the three statutes, if you review them, have a requirement that the documents or the records be uh, classified as national security documents. When asked what the penalty would be if Trump were found in violation of one of these statutes. The one basically that makes it illegal uh, to, to take documents away, um, you know, and, to, and retain them. That's zero to, uh, to three years. Stuart Kaplan, a fellow defense attorney and also a former FBI agent, says a former president leaving the White House with documents is not surprising, but... It really would potentially be a huge threat to the United States or to the threat of the national security of the United States if these documents were to fall into the wrong hands. When it comes to the property receipt, also unsealed, Serafini says it's a catalog. It was a run-of-the-mill Search warrant. Both experts agree this is a wake-up call for transparency when presidents become private citizens. Should there be some type of uh, protocol instituted? Um, that's probably not a bad idea. Maybe the National Archives or some agency should come in and let's go through the documents to avoid this type of crisis that you know now we're living through. Now, both men agree that today's release did not move the pendulum either way when it comes to the investigation. It will be a while before any decision regarding the investigation is made. Live on Palm Beach, Tara Jake, YWPBF 25 News.